Good Thursday morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? So I don't know if you guys have heard, but I found this out last night. I said, let me do a video. It was too late for me to go live. So let me just drop a little video, right? So apparently, um, Joycelyn Savage, you know, we had been speaking about R. Kelly and his situation with Ezreal and Joycelyn and uh, Joycelyn's family, you know, and all that. So anyway, Joycelyn finally made a response. She gave an exclusive interview um, to TMZ yesterday. Okay, and I, like I said, I found out about it late, but I am going to play the audio to her interview uh, for you guys. And also, uh, after, you know, I guess her family found out about this uh, interview, um, the family made and uh, gave a response um, to this TM, to, to this TMZ video, to TMZ. Okay, I know why it was so hard for me to say this earlier in the morning. I know I had my coffee yet. But anyway, let me play the audio, and I will come back to read to you guys what the family's response was to this video. Okay, hold on. Let's see if it'll play. I am truly tired of all the lies that they are saying about the man we love so much and our best friend R. Kelly. It has been said that I have left him and he has abused me and all kinds of nonsense. I have said before, none of it is true. It is a shame how they are treating him. It is so wrong on so many levels and he does not deserve this. I am not going to be a part of the assassination of R. Kelly's name, music career, and his character. How will we ever be able to get a fair trial anywhere in the world with all these lies that are being told on him? Please free him and let him come home in peace. I promise you, he is not the person you guys think he is. He is the best thing that has ever happened to me and Azriel. I talk to him every day and I see him every two weeks. He truly wants to thank all of his fans for believing in him. Plus, he wants you guys to know that he that he appreciate all of your letters and that he takes and it takes him a while but he reads them all i just ask that you guys stop all this nonsense and please give him his voice back i also want to say please do not believe what you see and hear on social media that is not my instagram someone is impersonating me i just want everyone to know we still support him and we will never portray him me and Azrael will forever love him. I truly apologize to all of the fans that has been going through this tough time, you know, and I truly, I understand it has been a hell for me and Azrael as well. So we do appreciate all the love and all the positivity you guys have been giving us. And, you know, I know, I know it's a lot going on, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm staying positive. You know, I'm not getting nowhere by being negative. I breathe positivity. I manifest that into my life. Okay. That's, that's not me. I'm not even that kind of girl that would do something like that and portray him. I've been through so much with him and we have a bond that is so special that no one can, that no one ever can break. Like this is truly coming from my heart. I would never in a million years, I would never in a million years hurt him like this. I would never do that. So it's just really, really, really sad that somebody would pretend to be me, pretend to be me and put it out in the world and say that I'm a victim, that I am brainwashed. OK, I'm a sex slave. Lord have mercy. It, it doesn't get worse than that. Uh, and that I have Stockholm syndrome. That it's just really, really sad. And I'm just really heartbroken for all of this that is going on. Um, you guys, we, me and Azrael, we still go to the court dates. We still support him. We still talk to him. You know, we still see him. Um, at the end of the day, I just, you know, I'm, I'm getting through this. Me and Azrael, we're both getting through this. So I just want him to come home in peace. Wow. So y'all heard that for yourself. Now, the thing about it, in case you guys haven't seen this clip, you could Google TMZ, of course, Joycelyn Savage's name, uh, with the date, with uh, yesterday's date, which was 12 4 19, and you can see the video. But in the video, for the first minute and a half uh, of the video, um, she's reading from her phone, um, it, like she's reading from a script or something, right? And so after that, she puts the phone down and she starts speaking, speaking from the heart. She sounds really devoted. She also sounds really agitated and kind of angry because of all of the stuff people 
have been saying about her and Azriel. My thing is, you know, does Azriel really have anything to do with this? Because like I said the other day, she wouldn't even agree, you know, to meet him in jail. Azriel is not in New York, I don't think, but Joyce Lynn is in New York with the handler. Did the handler uh, write that statement for her? I mean, I really don't know what's going on, but she really sounds devoted. If you guys see the video, you will see the look on her face. Um, 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 you know, that, that is what she said. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know quite what to say, but she did say that Patreon account, um, was, it was an imposter. It was not her. We already knew that anyway. Why it took her so long to respond? I don't know, but she did. And she gave the exclusive to, you know, TMZ. And I found it very interesting because TMZ, Joyce Lynn, TMZ is the one that called you a sex slave dear. Okay. I'm just saying allegedly but yeah they're the ones anyway allegedly <laughs> so anyway at 5 37 p.m yesterday um joycelyn's family responded um to their daughter's video and i'm going to read to you what they said uh, what they said and they responded through their attorney okay so this is what they said and i quote again this is joycelyn's um family you know her father mom or whatever uh, but they're speaking through the attorney to tmz in response to joyce lynn's video and what they said was quote the savage family attorney gerald griggs released a statement from joyce lynn's family saying quote we're saddened and disappointed to learn that joyce lynn savage has said that she was not the person operating a patreon account huh he continues, and I must the, the attorney continues. He continues, and I quote, We deeply desire to hear her story in her own in her own voice outside of the presence of Robert Sylvester Kelly uh, or anyone associated with him. For nearly three for nearly three years, Joyce Lynn um Savage has not been able to speak outside of the controlled environment created by Mr. Kelly. Her video today was not any different, unquote. The attorney adds, it says that quote Greg. Griggs adds, quote, although we can now verify that it wasn't her account, the allegations still remain. These are allegations that our own independent investigators uh, found to be accurate and closely match the details listed in four indictments against Mr. Que uh, Kelly, unquote. The statement continues, quote, we are also concerned about who gained access to Joyce Lynn's personal Instagram account to mislead the public and her family, unquote. Okay, it also says that um, at its end with this, quote, but there is no deception in this fact. For three years, Joyce and his family has spent the holidays without their daughter. Uh, they love her and long to embrace her once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we talked about that whole situation the other day. We also listened to um, that phone call that Tasha K dropped okay, of her father saying he's basically done with her. He wants nothing else to do with her, right? So the article goes on to state that, uh, quote, R. Kelly's girlfriend is officially breaking her silence with a video uh, that refused the abuse count refused the abuse claims attributed to her on a Patreon account. Claims, um, claims she calls total BS. Joycelyn Savage says she wants to clear her name following reports she turned on Kelly by posting dirty deeds about their relationship on the pay site, meaning Patreon. Um, she says she had nothing to do with the site and still, capital letter still, uh, has no plans to assassinate Kelly's character. The article goes on to say that, but in this video we obtained, Joyce Lynn starts out reading a prepaid, pre uh, prepared um, statement, or as Kelly's critics might call it, a script. And this is TMZ's, you know, response to her video and what she said. Uh, the uh, article goes on to state that as for the one, as for the one, as for the claims of abuse, I'm sorry, um, purportedly made in her name on Patreon, she says they were all flat out false, uh, and she blames an imposter for launching that page, as well as an Instagram account bearing her name. Uh, this is over the top of the video. It says Joycelyn also reveals the current status of her relationship with Kelly, saying they communicate daily. There is another video that I'm going to play for you guys. I'm not quite sure what's on this video, but the, the video says not sure. Okay, so let me play it because there's some more to the article, a little bit more. 
and I'm interested. I don't know if it's going to say the same thing or something different, but we can play it. And uh, if it's saying this, if it's the same thing, and we'll just stop it. But let me try to play it. Hold on. Hmm. Don't know if it's going to play, guys. It could be the same video. It's absolutely possible. But anyway, let me end. Uh, let me read the last four or five paragraphs. Um, the article goes on to state that it should be noted lots of people had cast doubt um, as to the veracity of the Patreon account, including R. Kelly accuser Lisa Van Allen, who explained her rationale to us on TMZ Live. Okay, that's the video that I was trying to play, but it won't play, guys. Joyce Lynn did go off script later in her video, talking about the audio I just played for you guys. Joyce Lynn did go off script later in her video statement, adding... Uh, both she and Ezreal Clary are still firmly in Kelly's corner, although Ezreal never appears on camera. Yeah, I don't think Ezreal is even in the same state with her. Because remember, uh, the report said that she went home with her family for a little while. And now she's in her own place. Now, we also saw that, uh, you know, she's shortly fixed to release a new album. And the album is supposed to be de uh, devoted to R. Kelly, pledging her undying love to him. But I really don't think that they're even in the same state. Do you see what I'm saying? Could be, but I don't know. But I don't think she was in that apartment. I don't know why she keep putting Azriel's name in it. And Azriel is not there to speak for herself. Because like I told you guys the other day, Azriel refuses to even go see Kelly. Um, even though she's on the visitor list, visitor list while he's incarcerated. The, uh, the next to last... Um, Paragraph says that as we reported, Patreon shut down the alleged Joyce Lynn account after it couldn't authenticate the owner's identity. Uh, R. Kelly, meanwhile, is still behind bars and dealing with multiple federal and state abuse cases. But Joyce Lynn says she still sees him regularly. Now, the last we heard, um, uh, Azriel was on the visitor list and Joyce Lynn wasn't on the visitor list and he can have only one of the girlfriends on the visitor list at uh, at a time. Now she did say she goes to see him every two weeks so maybe they alternate weeks going to see him. I'm assuming she's keeping up with uh, excuse me, her visits but Azriel, like I said last we heard, refuses to go see um, R. Kelly. So I really just want to let you guys hear this update. It was uh, yesterday. I read it last night, but I said I'm still going to, you know, update the subscribers in case you guys hadn't heard about it. So let's get this conversation started in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all of this. Do you believe um, what Joycelyn is saying? Do you think she was, um, you know, told to read the script? and Or do you think she's being out authentic and she just wrote down her words because she really wanted to you know make it known you know in particular a few things because she did later on like tmz states and i saw in the video she did you know put the phone down and she was speaking from the heart so anyway like i said let me know what you guys think about this like share subscribe you guys have a nice day and i'll talk to you later bye bye peace